Look, when we get to a stage where a society is debanking people because of their political opinions, we're moving towards a Chinese-style regime of social and moral credits. One thing for Nigel Farage to be cancelled, but how worried should regular citizens be about this chilling move? Well, perhaps not as worried as they could have been a few days ago, because it does look as if the government is going to do something about it. But I really do think this is the most egregious form of cancel culture. I mean, you can't get around anywhere these days without having a bank account and access to card payments. So many places don't accept cash, which is why I support GB News' campaign uh, to protect cash. But uh, Nigel said that you effectively become a non-person if, if you are denied access to a bank account. And I think he's, he's absolutely right. You're all for freedom of speech, but does freedom of speech extend to the chief executive of, of banks talking to BBC reporters about private financial information over dinner? No, of course it doesn't. That's private confidential information. And if that is proved to be correct, and it really does look as if that is correct, then she should simply be fired. Boris Johnson has weighed in on this precise point today, saying if it can be proven this information was leaked, then she should go. Um, we're not for cancel culture on our side of the spectrum, but if it's proven to be the case and Nat West are hauled before Parliament to explain themselves, could it go as far as them losing their, their licence? Well, it could if that's, if that's the case. Uh, I mean, if banks are going to discriminate against people because of their political views, because if they, those people don't have views that are of the same values as that particular bank, then that is completely unacceptable. And that really is cancel culture. Uh, and I think that those banks that, that do that, do behave in that way, should lose their banking licence uh, after a warning or two. Uh, I think that's the only way to go forward. And indeed, it appears that that's what government ministers think, Andrew Griffith in particular, uh, one of the Treasury ministers who's been leading on this.